Have you ever thought about what it'd be like to make your own characters? Or to make a movie like the best Spider-Man movie of all time, Spider-Man 2, starring Tobey Maguire? Well, I have. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Enderman, creator of the Enderman Arts Channel. This is where I document my dream to become a great artist and creator in order to provide relevant information to any of you that decide to take a similar endeavor. Welcome back to another episode of the Character Art of Journey the Greatness series. Today's episode is all about me wrapping up all I've learned about skeleton anatomy and me drawing the different views of the skeleton. Now if you enjoy the video and or learn something from it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss a single episode when it releases. Your decision to do any of those things will be greatly appreciated. Now without any further ado, let us proceed to today's episode. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing all the things that I've learned when it comes to skeleton anatomy. That includes the front view, the back view, the side view, and the three-quarter view. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so we're starting off first with drawing the skull of the skeleton, then drawing the spine, drawing the collarbone, drawing the part of the rib cage here at the very top and then starting to draw the sternum the rest of the sternum that is and the rest of the spine then right here i'm drawing in the shoulder blades also and then i'm starting to draw the pelvis in right here and then i'm checking my phone for notifications for some reason then I, I draw the rib cage, just an outline for that, not going into the details of it. I'm gonna be showcasing that later on, once I actually learn it, that is. Finishing up the pelvis here. All right, then I'm drawing in the, the femur. Okay, got, got, and my battery died from my camera, so I actually had to jump cut this. And I'm drawing in the fibula and the tibula and just an outline for the feet as well. Drawing in the humerus. And then after that, I'm drawing in some outlines of the hands. Once again, not going into details for that. I haven't learned that just yet, to be honest. Drawing in the radius and the ulna to finish it off. This took me roughly about, I'd probably say about like a a few weeks maybe it took me about a few weeks to actually get this front skeleton view um down packed and then i started moving on to other things and I, i'm just really I'm, I'm just really anxious well not anxious i'm just like really i guess you could say tired of drawing skeletons all the time and i want to move on to mus muscles no, muscles i really want to move on to muscles but i know how important it is to actually get the foundation of this so i'm just going through the process Okay, now we're moving on to drawing the back view of the skeleton. So once again, just drawing the skull, but making sure that we, you know, take into account that this is the back view. So I'm drawing the spine, like as shown here. And then I, what I like to do is I like to roughly draw in the front, the parts that are shown in the front view. Not um, just like very lightly though. And this sort of serves as like, um, I guess you could say like a guideline as to where I should be placing the rest the rest of the parts of the skeleton. All right, then we're drawing in the shoulder blades here. And connecting into the, the front part of the skeleton, the clavicle, collarbone, whatever. I, I, I always forget the names of these kinds of, th kinds of things. Drawing in the outline for the rib cage, drawing in the pelvis right now also. The sacrum. Just getting the de adding the details for that as well, and like the front view, drawing in the femur bones, and then I'm gonna be drawing in the tibula and the fibula also, and some some general outlines for feet. All right, there we go, and I'm drawing in the humerus bones as shown from the back view, and the radius and the ulna as well. So, it's just like a few things you have to take into account when you're drawing from the back view, I've learned.
Yeah, so it just took me a few weeks of, you know, just continuous practice to, to you know, to really nail this down to, in order to move on to the next part, that is. So now we're going to get into drawing the side view of the skeleton. I start off with a little more of a oval type shape of skull. And then I start drawing in the spine. Once I have that, I start drawing a rough outline for the rib cage also. Then I draw in this type of shape for the pelvis. Don't know how to like really describe it, but it's this kind of shape. Draw in a socket for the, the femur. Finish the you know detailing the pelvis a bit. Once I have that, I draw in a socket for the arm bones, or more specifically the humerus. Draw in the clavicle, the sternum, shoulder blade from the side view. Then I draw in the humerus and the radius as well as the ulna here. I don't know how I'm remembering this stuff. It's it's a lot to remember to be honest, but whatever. Then I just finished up the leg portion by drawing tibula and the fibula. Actually, it took me about a few days to really nail down the, the side view of the skeleton. It was a little bit easier than the, the, other, the other two views of the skeleton. So now we're going to get into drawing the three-quarter view of the skeleton. This is the thing that I'm learning right now. So I draw in the skull at that angle, then I draw in the spine and draw in an outline for the clavicle. Then I'm drawing in the sternum here and I draw the sternum here at this angle in order to make it look like the skeleton is like facing and in this direction or facing like in this three quarter direction basically. Then I'm drawing in an outline for the rib cage. I detail that a bit more here. Okay, once I detailed that, what do I move on to next? I'm moving on to drawing the pelvis. So it's sort of like that shape. Those two shapes put together. Then once I have that, I draw in the, the actual clavicle, like a detailed version of it. Okay, then I'm connecting. I'm making, I'm making it look like the, the clavicle is connecting to that bone that's on the shoulder blade here from that angle. And then I'm doing some foreshortening, which is kind of hard to be honest, it's something I'm running right now. On the other side, for the clavicle, then I'm just drawing in some detail for the rib cage. I still haven't learned how to like, get all the detail for the rib cage just yet. Then here I'm just drawing in you know, a few rough outlines for the, the femur, the fibula, and the tibula on the skeleton. And just drawing in some, some feet. No details just yet. And radius and the whole nut. And there we go. Alright, so guys, let me give you the skinny. Then come in, come, come in closer for this. Yeah. So, I actually didn't finish learning the three-quarter view. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Clickbait, yeah, whatever, false advertisement. But don't worry, I'm gonna make sure I showcase it in the next video with the musculature drawings and stuff, because I'm, I'm ready to move on from skeletons, to be honest. So I'm not gonna lie to you. To be honest with you, I've been slacking a little bit, because Mandalorian is out, guys. I, I got a seven-day free trial from Disney+, Plus, and I'm not gonna let that go to waste. I, I gotta cancel that, by the way. Gotta cancel that after the video. I'm not, not gonna let them charge me $6.99. Can't let them do me like that, like... But I'm wrapping this still the skeletons things up and I'm moving on to muscles and that's gonna be pretty exciting. So guys, what I can recommend to you, and this has helped for me, I just wanna share it with you, is going through this course on Udemy, Neil Fontaine's course. I'm not affiliated with this guy in any, shape, any way, shape, or form. It's just that it's really, this course has really helped me out. Like, it's offered me a lot of guidance and direction when it comes to learning these kinds of things. And I really think you guys should check it out. It's really cool. But anyways, what I can recommend is go through that. It's gonna provide a really good foundation it's been helping me out anyways. And that's all I can really offer. Um, the stuff that's been working out for me. Go through that thing and also look up some references online as well. You know, you can go like on Yahoo search and like, look up some skeleton references, you know. And like who uses Google? No one uses Google. 
try not to step in the dog crap here. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the previous episodes of the series as well as the Baseline series. Also, don't forget to support us on social platforms shown here. All links for that can be found in the description below. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. It really helps out the channel like a whole lot. You're awesome if you do that. You're awesome regardless, but you'd be like super awesome if you like actually hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Interman from Interman Arts signing off.